This is Period 2 News. Now, here's Chance Coon. Hello there. I'm Chance Coon. And I am here live outside the courtroom after day one of the Korematsu versus the United States trial. The day began with the attorneys giving their opening statements. Both attorneys, attorneys gave good statements with valid reasons, but they were sometimes difficult to listen to because of all the crazy protesters. <laughs> Racism, straight up. <laughs> After the opening statements, a Japanese witness came to, the, for, came to the stand for questioning from both sides. Mr. Rai, you, you said that you were given clothing, food, correct? Okay. Most of the things I brought to camp were taken as contraband. Okay. So how did it how did it provide a nutritional value? Was it of nutritional value? Very, very little nutritional value. <laughs> well, very, <laughs> some people even died of malnutrition. Well, des describe your clothing. You say it was light. Were you given long sleeve shirts? Were you given we were given one set of clothes for the summer? <laughs> there was a fall recess of the historians and the attorneys come up. <laughs> the attorneys. All the witnesses having a recess until Monday. As we were showing that last video, Chance Kuhn was being mugged by a bunch of Japanese protesters. So I'm Paul Jensen here with the rest of the story. That was Japanese American citizen Sam Rai you just saw. Mr. Rai stated that he felt as if he is no longer a citizen of the United States. He felt as if his personal items were unreasonably taken away from him, and he felt that the camp was very harsh and cruel. When questioned by the defense, Mr. Rai talked about the harsh living conditions. He stated that he was given very little amounts of food that had almost no nutritional value. And he also said that his, some of his friends had died from malnutrition, and that he was given only one set of clothes during his time at the camp. More witnesses will be prosecuted on day two of the trial tomorrow. That's it for now. I'm Paul Jensen. Remember, period two news.